Hey everyone, Robin from Backscatter here, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Olympus TG6 and break down why we think this is the easiest camera to get great results with underwater. The TG6 is our pick for the best all-around compact camera of the year, and it's the best thing that a beginner can pick up to start capturing awesome underwater photos and video. It's also got enough advanced features to make SLR shooters take notice, and maybe want to pack one as either a backup or even as a dedicated macro camera. We'll start off by covering some of the basics and what makes this camera so easy, then we'll get into the advanced modes and some of the benefits as we go along, so let's get right to it. What makes the TG6 such a beginner-friendly camera is its simple point-and-shoot operation. By rotating the mode dial to the fish icon, we can select one of five different underwater specific shooting modes, snapshot, wide, macro, microscope, and HDR. When you're just getting started with the camera and you want the ultimate easiest operation while still getting good color and exposure underwater, these are the best modes to use. They're gonna produce much better results than just shooting in auto and yet they're still just point and shoot in terms of their simplicity. The TG6 does offer a lot of room for growth and skill development, but for folks who just want to keep it super simple and have good looking images, well, it doesn't get much better than this. It's not enough to just be easy to use. The camera also has to produce great image quality. The TG6 has outstanding color, contrast, and clarity. Shots from this camera are sharp, vibrant, and pack some seriously good detail. This is thanks to the 12 megapixel sensor inside, which is an upgraded version of the sensor from previous versions of the camera. The most unique feature of the TG6 is its ability to shoot super macro, or the tiniest of those tiny critters, without the need for an accessory lens. It does it straight out of the camera. There's no other camera out there right now that works quite like this. You can literally have your subject touching the lens of the camera and it's still gonna focus on it. You're honestly only limited by what you can practically light and how close your subject will allow you to get. Every other camera out there right now is gonna require accessory macro optics to achieve results that are even close to this and even so, they still won't have the same versatility and the range of focus that the TG6 does, and they probably won't be able to autofocus as well. And speaking of autofocus... The TG6 blows other cameras out of the water when it comes to super macro autofocus. No other compact camera can focus as quickly or accurately in super macro and there are even a lot of SLR and mirrorless cameras out there that wish they were as snappy as the TG6 is in Super Macro. Now, Super Macro autofocus is one of the most challenging tasks for any camera, so the fact that the TG6 is so good at it is really something special. All compact cameras need a wide-angle conversion lens to expand the field of view and allow the camera to get closer for wider scenes or capturing large subjects. The Backscatter M52 wide-angle lens is just the thing for the TG6. It threads onto the 52mm threads on the front of the housing and expands the underwater field of view to 120 degrees. Now, even when the camera is zoomed all the way out for the widest shot, you don't get any lens vignetting. That's where you can see the corner of the lens in the shot, and your images are super sharp from corner to corner. There's no image distortion. The M52 wide-angle lens is hands down the easiest way to start getting gorgeous wide-angle shots with your TG6. Another optical option for the TG6 is the Backscatter M52 Air Lens, which is a less wide but more versatile lens choice. The air lens corrects the TG6 field of view to 81 degrees underwater, which is the same as what the camera sees in air, hence the name of the lens. Now this is basically just canceling out the refraction effect of that flat glass port on the housing underwater. The air lens produces a sharper image when shot with it than when shooting without just the flat port. 
The cool thing about the air lens, in addition to just increasing the image sharpness and the field of view, is that you can actually just zoom the camera all the way in, adjust a couple of settings, and still be able to shoot macro and even super macro without having to remove the air lens. This is a really cool benefit and it easily makes this the single most easy accessory lens to use for the TG6. Nothing else allows for both macro and wide shooting without removing the lens. So this is really an awesome choice for that shooter who wants to be ready for any subject. The TG6 can shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second with good underwater color. The first rule of underwater video is, if the color isn't right, then nothing else matters. Color can only be corrected so far in editing, so it really has to be as accurate as possible in camera. Fortunately, the TG6 not only does a great job at this, but it also makes it easy as well. There's three underwater white balance presets for different depths, shallow, mid-range, and deep. These are super simple to set, and they produce much better results than if the white balance were just left to auto. The TG6 can get even better color with a manual white balance, which we'll cover with our advanced topics in just a minute. Even without a housing, the TG6 is waterproof on its own down to 50 feet. But even so, we recommend using the housing for every time you're doing serious shooting with it in the water. This not only reduces wear and tear on the camera body, but it adds that extra layer of leak protection, and it allows for the use of all the really cool underwater accessories, like a tray, arms, lighting, and of course, lenses. We like the PT059 housing from Olympus for its simplicity, control labeling, and the accessory and hardware mounting options. There are a lot of great housing options out there for the TG6, so be sure to reach out to us and we can help you get the perfect one for your needs. Maybe the best thing about the Olympus TG6 is its price. The TG6 has an MSRP of about $450 and the PT059 housing is about $300. So even when purchased together, they're still less expensive than most other compact cameras alone. So now, let's switch gears a bit and satisfy our inner camera nerds with some more advanced features and the things that are really worth geeking out over. For maximum exposure control, the TG6 offers Aperture Priority Mode. This allows us to control our f-stop and select from a few different variable aperture values. These are based on the zoom level of the camera. When zoomed in all the way for macro shooting, we can take this thing to f18, which is awesome for dark backgrounds and knocking out ambient light. For wide angle shooting, just zoom that lens all the way out and set it to f8 for nice sharp corners when using a wide angle lens and a greater depth of field and darker backgrounds as well. One of our favorite things about the TG6 and something that's new to this latest version of the TG line is the ability to set a minimum shutter speed. The TG6 doesn't offer a full manual mode, so this is really the best way to lock your shutter speed right to where you want it. By selecting the minimum shutter speed in the main menu, and then also having auto ISO mode turned on, we can set shutter speeds as fast as 1 500th of a second that the camera will not drop below. Even though we do have to go a few clicks deeper into the main menu to change these, it's still super practical and it gives us more control over our TG than we ever had before, so at the end of the day, we're pretty happy. Even though the preset white balances do a good job, the best video color always comes from a manual white balance. The TG6 was producing good results for us down to that 40 to 50 foot range, depending on the ambient light and conditions. Whites looked white, the water looked nice and deep in blue, and there was really no significant color correction that was required in editing. A manual white balance is super easy to execute, requiring only three button presses. The camera has four banks to store custom colors to, making it really easy to swap between depth specific settings or shooting with and without your lights. The biggest factor limiting the shooting speed of the camera is its built-in flash recycle time. 
We can reduce the amount of time that we spend waiting for the camera to recycle by setting a lower flash power output. Set the TG6 to 1 64th flash power and you'll still have more than enough power to trigger a strobe while also drastically reducing the amount of time between shots. This is crucial for that split second action shot or when you really just need to fire, fire, fire and then pick the perfect frame later. The TG6 can be set to just about whatever go-to settings that we want with the custom modes. C1 and C2 can be set as any other shooting mode with any other preferred settings applied so that you have instant access to the best jump settings. This gives you two modes that can be ready to go for whatever you want to capture, whether it be one mode for photo and one for video, one for macro and one for wide, one for shooting with ambient light and one with strobes or video lights, or whatever you need. If you want the most truly set and forget experience possible, use those custom modes to your advantage. There's no other camera that so seamlessly blends simple operation, great photo and video quality, and advanced features like the TG6 does. If you want something that's easy to learn, takes really good pictures, and meets the affordability criteria, now the TG6 is the one for you. We do wish that the TG6 had a full manual mode rather than forcing us into some exposure workarounds, and hopefully Olympus will offer that in the next version, but even so, it's easy to pick the TG6 as the best all-around compact camera for a whole lot of reasons. Nothing else can do the macro that it can straight out of the box, and nothing else is going to autofocus as quickly or accurately under challenging macro conditions. The 4K video looks great, and the waterproof body means you won't be stressing over housing leaks. Wide angle is easy and looks excellent thanks to the M52 accessory lenses. Quite possibly, the hardest decision you're going to have to make about the TG6 is whether you want it in black or red. Remember, your purchases from Backscatter always include free lifetime tech support, and we dive, shoot, and service everything that we sell. So when you need help, you're getting it from someone who knows this gear firsthand underwater, and we're always happy to help. I'm Robin from Backscatter signing off, and happy shooting.